injured Steve Tinsey and put on a wild show. He was pressured and battered, but managed to rush for 68 yards, more than twice as much as any other Bronco runner. He also completed 17 of 30 passes and threw three touchdowns as his team amassed an impressive 476 yards. Briscoe moved the Broncos toward their first score with accurate passes. He hit number 85, Tom Beer, with a 19-yarder. Then he laid a 60-yard bomb in the hands of Jimmy Jones. In the third quarter, he connected with another rookie, number 42, Bill Van Heusen, for a 28-yard score. Marlin displayed the ability to roll out and scramble. He brought additional excitement to the Bronco attack. Time running out and a tie imminent, Marlin drove the Broncos steadily downfield. With less than two minutes left, he stunned everyone with a daring quarterback sneak from 10 yards out and won the game. After the ensuing kickoff, Floyd begged quarterback Marlon Briscoe to throw the ball as far as he could. I'll be there, said Little. Reception set up Bobby Howfield's winning field goal. I'm probably going in because the flow's going that way, see? And then I got to pick my, you know, we're either in or out, but it's either play me out, so I'm hooking uh -huh. in.